What's up guys? Spotter here. Another update on my Clash of Clans base. Uh, we've got approximately 3 minutes and 30 seconds left until this dude, my builder dude, is finished upgrading my cannon to level 5. It was a 6 hour build that I started this morning just because I wanted him to uh, come back available so that I could uh, could I use up the gold that I've accumulated since this morning. So I uh, this morning... When my builder came available, I think he finished... I'm not sure what he finished building. I can't recall. Oh, I think it was the... Uh, yeah, it was the lab. You see the lab? And now I'm doing my upgrade to my... Uh, it's a million upgrade, but I have to wait until Town Hall of Late. But I'm doing my research on... Yes, my goblins! Because I use so many of them. Um, I'm doing the goblins. Look at that. I can re even research the minions. That takes Dark Elixir, which we don't have a lot of. We're in short supply of Dark Elixir. Anyways, so I used up all my gold. I had about uh, two million. I'm, I'm continuing the fortification here on the left-hand side because that's where enemies continue to attack me from. I do have another replay available, a defensive replay. Um, what I'm going to do, though, right now is I pre-recorded an attack, and it was uh, one of these um, the revenge attacks. I'm just going to go into the defense log, and I'll show you the player that uh, I just finished attacking was Jordan. Jordan, and I'll show you what I what I ended up doing to his base. This is the end result, but I'm going to show you what we looked at beforehand um, in selecting him as a target uh, and, you know, basically how we approached it. So I'm going to skip out to that, and then I'm going to come back when this guy is ready to, uh, to do his building. And then we're going to upgrade some walls. We're going to use up our 1.6 million gold and then we're gonna get him going i believe i'm gonna have him go on the uh the army camp i'm gonna upgrade the army camp to uh level five so i'm gonna use a quarter million elixir here i'll be back down to close to a million and then i have uh two builders that are coming up for availability here one with the uh, spell factory which is that is gonna be good to get my spells back uh, it's gonna be really good and i can queue up uh three spells i'll have three spells available uh so i have the uh the rage the healing and the lightning the lightning is fully upgraded to level four and then this guy uh, shortly thereafter about an hour and a half later or sorry an hour and five minutes later he's gonna be available to uh, do something else and I believe I'm not sure what I'm gonna have him do yet but we'll see anyways let's skip out to that uh, that pre-recorded attack on Jordan and then we'll come back when this guy's done and we'll do some walls and then we'll do a defensive replay all right, guys, so here's the uh, pre-recorded stuff that I was speaking about. We're going to go right down to the bottom. He's the second last, so he almost disappeared off our list here on the defense log. Jordan, we're going to go take a look at his base. And, and this guy hasn't been online in some time, so his collectors and his gold mines are nearly completely full. The only reason they're not full is because he was attacked and he had shields for the last 16 hours. But the last 16 hours, he has been generating elixir and gold. Check out his level 10 mines at 76,000. And we get 50% of that, right? We get 50% out of the mines and collectors. So we only get the 20% out of the the gold storage and the elixir storage. So And he's Town Hall 7, so we don't get a bonus. It would have been nice if he was Town Hall 8. We get an extra 20% bonus. But uh, it is what it is. So the goal here is to get in there and uh, take out all his gold mines and his uh, elixir storage. Don't really care too much about that center portion because uh, our return on that, again, at the 20%, isn't going to be that high. So we're going to back out, and then we're going to skip to the attack on Jordan. Um, from a trophy perspective, not uh, too much opportunity from trophies. We have a 17, but uh, definitely on the, um, on the resource side. Now, he's got some walls on that bottom left area as well as near that top right to uh, sort of make us spawn in from a uh, farther position back. So we send in a bunch of uh, giants, and there was a hidden Tesla that, uh, and another hidden Tesla inside there that uh, I wasn't aware of. But I sent uh, my wall breakers in, I sent the Barbarian King in, and then I'm just going to spam the, uh, the Goblin goblin spam strategy now i didn't send enough giants in at that top right i should have sent a few more giants in at the top right instead of so many in the bottom left because it was really the gold that i was after and i sort of missed out on that uh, top right gold mine but i do take out all the electric collectors on that bottom left so 
that was pretty sweet. And then uh, I believe my Barbarian King does break into that middle section. Um, or does he? They're going to go take out the Wizard Tower first and break into that middle section. So I do end up taking out that other gold mine, but I left one on the table. Unfortunately, you can see the remaining gold and elixir counts in the top left. The Barbarian King is actually attacking the gold storage, but he's going to take get taken out pretty soon. And there he goes. And I have two giants remaining, which... You know what? It doesn't matter. They're not really going to do anything, so you may as well... Well, they died anyway. You could have just surrendered. And, uh, you know, I lost trophies, but I got a decent amount of resources back from that uh, revenge attack. Probably could have done it better, though. All right, guys, we're back, and our builder's just about done. Two seconds, and we're just going to do a quick check. Do we have any bushes or shrubs or tree stumps on our base? Because we got to get rid of those, and we don't have any, so... Let's go in here. We'll complete our uh, upgrading of our walls down here. And we're only going to use... I'm going to save uh, 200,000 because I'm not going to be able to... Um, in about three hours or four... Just under four hours. I'm probably not going to be able to save up enough gold anyway to get to maximum. So I'm only going to use up until I have about 200,000 left here. And that will be this guy. And then one more. One more upgrade. So that leaves us some uh, some gold to uh to skip attack bases basically right um you know what uh no we'll save it and then we're gonna sa send him on his way to uh upgrading the army camp all right and that's take takes one day so he'll come available again tomorrow and i'll have five additional uh forces that i can use or slots available for my army um so i've got a pretty good you know a solid outline for that left side of my base now if i keep if i continue getting attacked along the left side what I'll probably end up doing is reinforcing these walls in here prior to reinforcing the rest of the exterior of the base. Um, and that's, again, it's based strictly upon where I keep getting attacked from. It's always that left side. They're always going after that uh, air defense. I mean, I almost want to consider swapping the, um, the mortar with the air defense to, to keep it more protected. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see uh, once these walls are fully upgraded and if I need to upgrade these interior walls first you know over here and up here uh, then I'll do so based on uh, the defensive replay so let's take a look at the latest defensive replay um, again this guy throwing everything but the kitchen sink I mean he's got level five giants I know I had a couple of those large bombs I believe that uh, that I think I had on this uh, this replay or not I guess we'll see he's got a level two barbarian king I mean let's go just take a quick look at his base uh, he's obviously at least level 8 on his town hall. His town hall is destroyed right now. But uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably level 8. Let's take a look at his uh, dragons. He's got level 2 dragons. So, um, yeah, I don't think he can upgrade to level 5 giants on town hall 7. So, anyways... Let's uh, take a look at the replay and uh, see exactly what it did. Again, I'm holding these guys off. I haven't been three-starred in uh, since uh, three days, 11 hours ago, which was, I think, before... Was it before I upgraded to Town Hall 7 or just after I had upgraded and I hadn't had the extra defenses in? So, and I've, and I've you know, I've, I've repelled quite a bit. I've repelled some, some pretty heavy forces here so let's see what happens we go double speed so again the giants along the left hand side uh, a bunch of archers he's got the wall breakers there i mean one wall breaker is not going to do the job we got the spring trap which got rid of some of the giants and uh so they're gonna go up to the archer tower and then they're gonna go right after so they're gonna have to work the cannon the cannon the uh, wall came out first and now the air defense and that's when he brings in the healer so it's a typical, you know, giant healer thing. Uh, maybe I didn't have the large bombs. And one of the giants go across the other mortar and then sending in. Uh, and that's a good strategy. I mean, sending in those goblins at the tail end. I'm not sure why he's sending in those wall breakers at the end there. But um, regardless, he did. And he only has a few archers left and some goblins. His... Uh, Man, that's, uh, I didn't even notice. Play that again, because I didn't even notice how quickly when he brought in that Barbarian King. It must have been fairly early on. And he was level 2, so... Did a, did a, my bar oh, that was my Barbarian King. Okay. It wasn't his Barbarian King. That was my Barbarian King. So, and there's his. Okay, so is that... 
Okay, so mine, that's mine down, uh, down the bottom left. Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty good in defense. Like, he did take, manage to take out a few, a few of the uh, enemy forces um, before he got uh, dazed and confused on the uh, left-hand side. But then his, uh, the enemy's barbarian came. I wasn't even watching it. I was watching the middle attack, the middle attack where the giants were. I wasn't even noticing that right-hand side where his barbarian came was. And, uh, yeah, so I did have those... Uh, the large bombs, which uh, probably saved me a fair bit. They might have been able... Mm, I still had the wizard tower on the right-hand side, so I don't think they'd be able to take my town hall uh, with the goblins. And the goblins would have went after the elixir collectors that were still left on the outside, as well as the um, the dark elixir storage that was still at the top right. So I think uh, I would have I would have defended either way without those, uh, those large bombs, but uh, that's it. So I've been able to repel some pretty decent attacks. I've been holding guys to, um, you know, that are, you know, according to their troop levels, are pretty over, you know, well-powered versus my uh, base defense. And, uh, you know, aside from the guy that two-starred me, uh, Zroe, we've held these other guys to one star. So not too bad. We're not losing too many trophies. And hopefully once we get the defenses uh, further upgraded, then we'll start repelling them and not giving them that one star. And then we actually get some trophies, right? Okay, that's uh, that's it for uh, today. We'll uh, we'll be back at you with uh, some more Clash of Clans and some more NGT mobile content for you very very soon. I'm Spider and I'm out.